Hello everyone. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin' and Pamela Pick. If you give me just a moment, I'm going to see if I can get the laptop to show if I've gone live or not. And then we can get started. Am I in the camera okay? Am I straight on here? I can't, you know, it's always so hard to tell. So, <clears throat> come on in and say hello. Well, there's France and Jackie right away, so now I know I'm live. So, hello. Welcome. Hi, Mary Jo. Hi, Nick. Hi, Shirley. So, great. Hi, Kristen. Um, it is good to be back. I actually kind of feel like... Uh, going from about four to five videos per week to nothingness for um, a week feels a little bit like, uh, where do I begin, right? So if you're new, say hello and um, be sure to like and follow us. So today I have, have you guys seen the Silly Goose stamp set? Oh my gosh. It is silly, but it's super, super cute. It just depends on what you want to do with it. And I've made um, a couple cards now that I really think are adorable. And I'm just going to do kind of a clean and simple one today to show you. So I will be using this. This is in our um, mini catalog that's currently going on. And also in the mini catalog is this raindrops embossing folder. Now this isn't a 3D embossing folder, but I do want you to see that if you want the raindrops going down, it's definitely directional on here. I don't know why to me this would be up and down, you know, so you can read it. But anyway, so I definitely had to put them in facing down on this one, but it's super cute. It goes with another set, but I'm using it with this one. I also paired it with just one of the stylish shapes dies. It is the largest circle. It gives that little stitched look to it. And then I also paired it with one of the something fancy dies. It's the largest one of the set of three in the middle here. I don't know what that shape would be, but if you buy this together, it is a bundle pack so that you do save 10% on the Something Fancy um, stamp set, but I'm going to be using um, the words that come along here in the Silly Goose. I just wanted the die cut. I did go ahead and pre-cut the dies and use the bossing folder ahead of time just to make this go a little bit quicker for you. So I'm going to pull in Parakeet Party. This is a bright, vibrant green. And I have this one cut at four and got a little of my um, shaded spruce on there. Uh, four and a quarter by 11. And I'm just going to fold that in half to make the card base. So I've got kind of a tent fold card base. What I like is there's a lot of yellow in this green and so it just gives a little bit of diversity. It's very bright. I like the bright colors. I've paired that with another one of the Parakeet Party and this is embossed. I'm hoping you guys can see that if I stop for a minute with the little raindrops. And I'm just going to adhere that down to my card base. So, do you guys have plans this weekend? Uh, Bill and I have been sick. Well, Bill's still kind of coming out of his uh, for, well, for me, the past three weeks. But he's been kind of pushing two months here. And um, so, I'd like to get out of the house, for one. For two, we are kind of going through and thoroughly cleaning. We're kind of deep cleaning. Once you've had the crud, you don't want it back. So we're, um, in fact, today we were washing sheets and uh, kind of trying to get 
back into normal life from being sick. I want to thank you guys for being so patient with me since I've canceled so much. Really do appreciate that. I think maybe I had um, I had a cold that kind of ran its course, and then I had a little case of botulism. So I ran this. This is shaded spruce. This is that large circle through the stylus shapes. I ran this through to cut that out, and I wanted to have that because look at how well that matches. It's The shaded spruce has that blue, but it really that yellow goes very good with it. So you've got the yellow in that. And then for the DSP today, I am going to use, let me find the DSP pack. This is free from celebrations right now with a $100 purchase. This is the Dandy Designs 12 by 12. It's gorgeous. So I just took a scrap I didn't measure it. I will kind of give you a measurement of what this is. Um, this scrap is two and a quarter this way, and it looks like four and three quarter this way. We'll cut it down to whatever we need. And then I have a piece of uh, basic white in that largest shape. So we're going to start with that. I would like to get my little stamping mat out here because this is a photopolymer stamp set and you get such a, a good image. And I'm bringing some blends because we're going to have fun with our little goose, right? So let's start with the goose and I'm going to use the Memento ink for, um, this is the Tuxedo Black. Got that inked up nice and I'm going to put this down towards the bottom. like so, so she's kind of floating. I like this one because she has a little hat, but she has this cute little frog on her back. Well, shoot, I'd have liked that to have come out just a little darker, but we'll make do. And then I have on here from the stamp set, let me pull this back out, it'll be easier to read. You've got a friend in me because she's got that little frog on her back. And I'm going to put this as the sentiment right at the top. It makes me want to start singing that song from, um, what was that with Buzz Lightyear? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Okay, so let's do a little bit of coloring with this. So let's start with, this is the dark, um, pumpkin pie and I'm choosing this because of course her little beak and let's just go in here and color that in I think the song is you've got a friend in me I think that's the name of it I don't know who sings it or whatever but you guys know what I'm talking about from Woody and Buzz Light Toy Story that's what it is couldn't think of what it was called and then I think I'm going to use the other side here, and I'm just going to go in, and here on her little pool floaty, I'm going to color in around. Now this is the dark, but it will lighten up when it dries. And I'm not uh, doing any kind of, I'm just filling it in, I'm not doing any um, shading with this. She's so stinking cute. There's some really cute, have you guys seen the taco one too? Oh my gosh. There's some really cute stamp sets in this mini catalog. If you are new and watching and you would like a catalog, first catalog is always free. So uh, send me your a mailing address and I will send you a catalog if you're not working with another demonstrator. Okay. So this is the hardest part of the whole coloring is going around these little guys. 
they snap hard to get the uh, lid on, but now I am using the light parakeet party and I'm going to come back in and let's color in the little dots now to make our little floaty, our little pool floaty. And while I'm here, I might as well just take care of Mr. Froggy. He's super cute. When I am usually coloring with blends, I like to use the thick uh, basic white. I'm going to do the leaves too while I'm here. It is a little bit, you don't have to, but I think that it helps with um, absorbing the blends a little bit better. So um, try to use a light hand when you're using them for coloring in like this. Okay, so I think I'm going to use, this is the light Daffodil Delight, and let's color in her little hat. I think my, let's see if the other end is a little bit. Don't worry, it's dried out, but I'll get another one. I'll just throw that one away. There we go. Much better. Got to have a really light touch right here on the brim. I don't want those colors to bleed. There we go. Okay, so now we got her hat. And uh, this is the light polished pink, and I'm going to use this to color in the little flowers here. This is actually super relaxing, especially on a Friday afternoon after a hard week of power sleeping is what I did. <laughs> I'm going to come back in, I think, for the center of these flowers and I'm just gonna do a little yeah of the orange for the center now those everything will lighten up so I've got pool party here this is the light pool party and I'm gonna use this just to kind of go along the edge of this water just so she's not just floating on there's a little color to kind of represent the water. Okay. Oh my gosh. Right? Stinking cute. Okay. So we'll put these blends away. Make sure I got the lids on them. Now, how many of you still have your Taylor Tag Punch and how many of you love it? Right? I do too. So we do not sell this anymore. Um, and we don't sell anything that will do a two and a quarter inch tag punch, but I love it and I'm not going to give it up ever. And if anyone tries, they'll have to just take it out of my cold dead hands because this is one of my favorites. So if you can snap one anywhere, I highly recommend it. This is why. Beautiful tag, right? Or flag, I guess. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put this, this is the um, petal pink side, which goes very good with orange and green. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to do like a flag card. And you know what? That actually fits perfect. I don't need to cut that down. I'm just going to if someone um, needs to get a hold of one, let me know because I'm involved in a few groups where I might be able to find one for you. If someone will let it go. So I'm just going to place this oh, maybe like that. Just place it down here. It's already pretty, right? Coming together. 
Love it. I love the bright, the bright green. I mean, I never thought that I would, my daughter, her favorite color is green. My mother's is purple and green. And I never thought I'd be such a green lover, but if it's Granny Apple and if it's this parakeet, I love it. I do like the other greens for when you have flowers and, you know, cards like that. But I love these bright things. So I'm just going to take this um, stitched uh, shape here. It's a circle. And I'm going to go ahead and lay this down too. I think. Right on top of here just makes the cutest little background to put this on. Okay, so now we got our card base made. Oh, my Taylor Tag Punch came apart the other day. Then I dropped it and it fixed it. Oh my goodness, thank goodness. I actually bought a spare. Don't anybody ask me for it because I'm not giving it up because of that I was scared I would like drop mine okay this is the metallic woven ribbon in the parakeet party and it's got I love that it's got that metallic look it's very thin but we're going to take this and normally you know how I kind of go like this with it I'm going to do it more side to side so I'm going to use some stamp and seal plus and I'll just do a little well Shouldn't have done that. I should have used the stamp and seal. There we go. Stamp and seal. To hold this in place, because I'm just going to go kind of side to side. Maybe at a slight angle. And maybe I'll have it kind of look like I've got... Do you guys do this? Do you play with it a little bit to kind of see what it's going to look like? And then, let's see. Yeah, see, I, I have to play with it and cut it off and recut it. And I love this stuff. I hope they don't go out next time because actually I really do like that one inch, in th inch thickness, especially when I'm doing a quick card like this. Now, I like to pop sentiments. And since my sentiment is on my little picture... I'm good with that but I kind of overuse them so if you are opposed to seeing me going through don't look while I put all these on I really I'm not gonna necessarily need one because this is gonna kind of give it a little bit of lift with that ribbon behind there it's so clean and simple now let me pull it up because this just doesn't do its justice. So if I hold it up, maybe you can see. Other than the tailored tag punch that I used, all of this is available in my online store. Now we're not done. We've got a little bit here. It's cute. But the original card I made, I'm addicted to the iridescent rhinestones. Um, that's what I used, and I do really like it. But then as I was getting ready to go live, I saw these and I thought, mm -hmm, which do I like better? I don't want to detract from it, and it is it is a kind of a pool scene. But then again, I don't know. So let me take my take your pick tool and determine what I like. Um, do I like this flowers? It is, you know, going to be springtime soon. Actually, those kind of, I think I'm going to go with the iridescent rhinestones. But you know, when you see something, you think, oh, I'm going to do that, right? Okay, so I'm going to put kind of one of these smaller ones and then maybe a medium one up here. And then I'll do a larger one, and I think I'm going to put it right on the green so that really pops. Let me see. So I've got that kind of making this my focal point. Everything kind of goes in towards my picture. It just comes out so stinking cute. Now, don't go away because I want to show you something. 
so I started playing with this. I've been sick, and I haven't been in here in a week. But then when you get me in here after a week, it's like, oh, I need to be messing around. So where did it go? So then I decided... I have a thing for shaker cards, you guys. They're my absolute favorite. And you can do these bright colors. I've got this. Uh, a silly goose told me it's your birthday, and he's holding a he's holding a balloon. And I just cut it out. It was very easy to make. I love shaker cards. They're so easy, and they really give you bang for the buck. But, you know, same idea as what I did here. And, of course, I have to do the bright colors. But you can do whatever colors you want to. But how stinking cute is that, right? Cannot wait to give that away. And how stinking cute is this in the bright green? I just think that when you give happy cards to people, you spread so much happiness in the world. And that is one of the things about Stampin' that I absolutely love is how much happy you can bring, whether you're donating your cards. Um, I just got an email um, for those of my customers who donated to this and my downline who donated to the Humane Society. And we had... Um, 30 cards or something like that, I think is what uh, went out there. And they made $300 on an auction for Valentine's Day off of our cards for the um, local Humane Society. So thank you for everybody who did that and helped with that. But also, it's just such a great thing that we can do being card makers and, and having so much fun with this. Now, I want to show you one other thing. Here is my original. I changed up the paper. These Both of these papers come into, and I moved it over a little. I kind of like this one better, actually. When this finishes drying, it'll be as light as this. But um, I kind of like this paper better. Just, just something to show you different. How cute, right? Stinking cute. Okay. Um, I want to also show you guys something that's coming out next month. I haven't had a chance to show you because I've been ill. But we get to pre-order. Now, there's only a sample. They are going to do an online release that's not been done before. I mean, we do have, like, our kits are online releases. But we have this embossing folder isn't this awesome? It's three embossing folders here. It's called Basics. So this is only going to be available through my online store. There's no catalog um, that'll be coming out for this. There's three of them. I don't know. They don't have really names on what they are, do they? It just says 3D Basics. So they uh, it's kind of a um, bubble. I went ahead and ran them through so you could see. That's kind of a, a, a bubble. They're, they are the 3D. I don't know what you'd call this. Kind of a, a foliage. And then this, kind of a hashtag. Hashtag, I guess, is what I... I know what I'm thinking. I don't know why it comes out, maybe, where you guys can't understand that. But it's a hash... I, I'm going to give up. I don't know what I'm thinking. I think you know what I'm saying. So, I love that. There's also going to be this set called Irresistible Blooms. Now, this is just, let's see, Celebration ends on the 28th. So, this is just uh, Tuesday's the last day for Celebration. So, March is Wednesday. Ooh, wow. Okay, so irresistible blooms this i will be featuring this actually um on wednesday and uh it has uh some dyes to go with it and they're really cute this one is so cute these blooms are adorable but here's the part that i think that makes it just i love this okay take a look at this dsp it has got that emboss resist look already on it, whether it's this or these hashtag, I don't know what to call this, grid, but it's kind of broken up. So, um, or the lines with the bubbles in it and the dyes will cut out the flowers. So it already has it. Look at that. I love that. Is that just gorgeous? Oh, let me show you something else. Huh? I just did this today. Look at so this side of the paper, 
I ran through the embossing folder and this is what you get. Isn't that pretty? I think this is just going to make some fabulous cards. Now, again, this is only available through the online store. There's no catalog, and there will be no catalog coming out for it. And on the other side, it's got kind of a watercolor wash. I do want you to note, though, those of you who've been around for a while, and I know some have, that there are two colors in this DSP that are that they're bringing back for it, Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon. So if you still have those, um, stamp inks, those stamp, what are they called? It's not set. They're ink pads. There we go. That might be something of interest for you, especially if you liked them the first time around. I absolutely did. So this will be something that I'll be featuring here um, probably this, this week. I'll do a card. Maybe I'll do something um, with this fantastic die. I love that die. So I wanted to show you that. And then um, remind everybody that the Silly Goose stamp set is on page 27 in our mini catalog. Um, you have until the 28th, which is Tuesday, if you want to order anything from the um, celebration stuff. They did add more things, and honestly, I've been so out of it, I don't know what has sold out already. Um, I haven't even checked, but so there's this, and then there were some extra things you can check on my online store. Um, Piccadilly Pearls, so they do have an ordering special. If you've ever thought about getting a discount on every one of your orders, you can sign up. They are offering right now um, this neat mini machine. This is the mini stamp and cut and boss machine. I haven't even used it yet. Um, my office is actually uh, white and teal and pink, so I wasn't I, I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe I'll do a giveaway or something. But um, this is available. It is $129. Stampin' Up! will pay the shipping on that. And you can order $175 worth of product for free for $129, $175. And you get this machine. You can pick the white or you can pick the, this is going to be one of the in colors, a sneak peek. It's called Boho Blue. Um, so that one will be available through Tuesday of this month. If you have any questions, let me know. And if there's any of the products other than the tailored tag punch that I used, and I will probably continue to use, um, please use my host code on all uh, current orders that are under $150. Um, if it's over $150, I definitely want you to get the host points, but if you use my host code, you earn... Um, uh, stampin perks from me which add up into free product for you so I hope you guys have a great weekend and um, I'll be back as I was um, regularly this Monday for my VIP group um, and my Pearl group and then Wednesday 7 p.m. Central Time um, and we'll do that new stuff that's going to be released and then um, next Friday for another parfait. So you guys have a great weekend and we will catch you later. Take care. Bye-bye.